M80s, bottles and bricks are being thrown. Several cars have been set on fire. Some of their occupants have been thrown from the cars. One building directly across from the building where 24-year-old Jose Garcia was shot was set on fire. According to police, the protesters are not organized. They're traveling in bands numbering up to 200. So far, several demonstrators have been arrested. Two police officers and a civilian have been injured in front of the precinct in Washington Heights. Now, as I said, this is almost an uphill battle. Cars are being burned. Police are trying to keep the peace peacefully. They're trying to do everything they can. There have been several arrests. Many are going on right now, even as we speak. Now, these problems have been going on since Friday night. Earlier today, Mayor Dinkins visited this exact area. It was quiet. Kyung Yoon has more on that story. Angry Washington Heights residents called the police assassins, meanwhile keeping a watchful vigil over a makeshift memorial to Jose Garcia, who would have turned 24 today. The part-time bodega clerk was killed Friday night by 34th Precinct plainclothes police officer Michael O'Keefe, a death that sparked violent community protest. Community leaders like City Councilman Guillermo Linares scrambled to calm the growing outrage in the community. In the after afternoon, Mayor Dinkins paid a visit to the grieving family of the victim. I came to pay my respects and offer my condolences to the family and to assure them that uh, everything that can be done will be done to thoroughly investigate the circumstances of this death. Witnesses insist the unarmed man pleaded for his life as Officer O'Keefe beat him repeatedly with his police radio, then shot him in cold blood in the lobby of this apartment building. But the police account is that Officer O'Keefe found a fully loaded 38 caliber revolver on Garcia. Residents accuse O'Keefe of being a crooked cop who allegedly ripped off drug dealers. Investigators have yet to question O'Keefe, who's called in sick every day since the shooting. The incident comes at a time when the 34th pre Precinct, along with several others, is under investigation for corruption. Do you feel that this incident is going to accelerate the investigation of police corruption in the city, especially regarding the 34th? I think it ought to be understood that an allegation of, of police brutality, which is what exists here, is not the same as an allegation of corruption. An autopsy by the medical examiner ruled the death a homicide, but revealed no evidence Garcia was beaten, disputing witness accounts. Again, as you can see behind me, police are trying to keep the peace. Now, it has been pretty peaceful here at 162nd in St. Nicholas. There has been a candlelight vigil going on all night. Some of the supporters of Jose Garcia have lit candles in memory of him. They have also painted murals on the walls adjoining the building where he was allegedly shot by that police officer. However, at times, M-80s are being thrown, bottles are being thrown, and it is total chaos. Uh, it is important to note, uh, while this is going on, while buildings and cars are being burnt, the majority of the people here are trying to keep the peace. They're in their homes. As I said, there are large numbers of youths roaming the area, but still, this is a 30-block area, and there's an awful lot of peace, people trying to keep the peace up here. We'll have a lot more for you later. Reporting live from Washington Heights, Penny Crone, Fox 5 News. Now back to you. Thank you very much, Penny.